People with autism have a really hard time grasping the abstract. Like if it's not right in your face, they they have a hard time understanding it and really um, getting that, that it, it does exist outside of their their being, you know? That makes uh, church and religion and God really difficult for them to grasp the whole concept. Um, they're both baptized. They both believe. They both know we go to church. Um, they, they read their Bibles. They go to youth. But it's still, and I think for a lot of us, it's still something that we're constantly trying to understand. And when you have autism, that thing outside of your visual or you're, you're able to touch is, is more difficult for them. So last night they were kind of talking a little bit about what they had um, discussed in Youth Sunday. And he looks at us and he said, I don't understand. He said, if God can do anything, why doesn't he just snap his fingers and make everybody believe and make everybody follow him and make everybody do the right thing? He said, if he does all and knows all, then why can't he do that? And this is where it, it kind of, you kind of have to put it back into their perspective. Um, every night he goes to bed and he tells sisters good night. He comes in the room and tells dad good night. He loves on the dog and tells the dog good night. And then he goes to bed and forgets me every night. So I said, honey, it's a lot like, you know, when um, at night when you go to bed and you don't tell me good night. Um, it hurts me. It upsets me. It hurts my heart. But I don't make you come back and tell me good night. I want you to want to come back and tell me good night. I want you to care enough about me that you want to tell me good night. It's the same thing. I said it's it's like in any relationship. You don't want to force somebody to be with you. You don't want to force somebody to love you. Um, it has to be something they want to do. Still doesn't completely get it, but it did get the wheels turning a little bit. It's just another thing that's so difficult as an autism mom. Um, these are conversations that typically you have with a child when they're three and four years old. Um, not at 14. But you know what? He'll be okay. God knows. God knows his heart.